After a historic season last year, Rodgers has started off 2021 on a very sour note to say the least. So now it's time to ask, what's going down with good old A.A. Ron? And not a receiver. From midfield looking for a shot, Rodgers sending it deep downfield, and Lazard brings it in! Like I said before, Aaron was coming off of an MVP season on one of the best teams in football. In fact, the Packers were a Tom Brady drive away from a Super Bowl appearance, and so it seems like they were set for success to do their thing against New Orleans. The Saints are not only a team that just lost a Hall of Fame quarterback, or was starting a massive underdog in Jameis Winston, but was dealing with a hurricane. Hurricane Ida tore up the state once again and forced the Saints to play in Duval. Many had the Packers winning after coming off of a slim loss to the eventual Super Bowl champ Bucks, especially considering the fact that the whole quarterback situation in the Bayou was up in the air, so let's just say many people did not expect what would happen next. On a crisp Sunday afternoon in Jacksonville, the stage was set for the discount double check dude to do his thing once again. The game started off with a nice little drive from good old Winston and the Saints as they went up 3-0. Instead of responding back with some points of their own, the Packers had an underwhelming drive and so were forced to give the ball right back to the Crab Leg King. With the ball in their control once again, the Saints went back to work as they drove nearly 80 yards down the field with Jameis' first touchdown of the game being in the cherry on top. Although Green Bay was able to respond with the field goal the following drive, it was the last points that they would score as Jameis and the Saints were unstoppable. Not only did Green Bay lose by a touchdown or two, but 38-3. They didn't come back from being down from a score like that like New England against Atlanta. Instead, they just flat out got steamrolled. On one side, the Crab Lake King had 5 touchdowns on only 20 passes as he was nearly perfect in his first start since 2019. Not only did the defense get shredded, but Aaron struggled quite a bit with only 133 yards, 2 picks, and not a single touchdown in what may be one of his worst performances ever. In fact, it was so bad that my man Jordan Love even had to step in with his nearly 70 yards off the bench capping off a very sorry game for the team as a whole. To say that this is a sour note to start off the year is an understatement, and now has many questioning about what's going to happen with the State Farm star and crew. After being demolished by Jameis and company, there are a ton of questions surrounding not only Aaron, but the team as a whole after a sorry performance all around. Rodgers was not the only Aaron that was not on his A game in Jacksonville, with good old Aaron Jones rushing for under 10 yards on a rough 1.8 yards per carry. With a passing and rushing game both extremely unproductive, the Packers were unable to do anything on offense time and time again as it seems like they did more for the opposing defense than themselves. Crazy enough, the former MVP as of now has the 32nd most passing yards and 32nd best quarterback rating in the league after he was stumped time and time again by the Saints defense. Quite literally, he had his worst game since week 5 last year against Tampa Bay in a game that I'm sure many of you remember as pretty much an anomaly in an otherwise great MVP season. Keep in mind that he followed up that game with 3 straight absolutely banging performances back to back to back. So although Aaron just struggled against a really good defense, I don't think it's as big a deal as many are making of it. The reason this whole thing looks much worse is because Jameis took advantage of it plain and simple. Last year it was Tampa Bay, and this year it was New Orleans, but I would not expect this to be a reoccurring thing. If last season is anything to take into account, Tampa Bay was not only Aaron's only game with zero touchdowns, but also two picks, and so the hoopla around this specific game, in my opinion, is extremely overblown. I mean, you even got Michael Irving questioning Aaron's desire to play, referencing the fact that if you're talking or thinking about retiring, then you already have. A pretty interesting way to look at the situation, but I think it all comes down to the fact that it's such a limited sample size. When he struggled against Tampa Bay last year, people were surprised, but not questioning retirement, simply because he had already shown that he had the sauce the four weeks leading up to it. Although a bit of a stretch, there's definite potential that Aaron could be playing lackluster football because of a desire to leave the team. But even then, it was the same story last season. It's hard to pinpoint what Aaron really wants as he threatened to retire over the offseason and has generally just seemed pissed off ever since the team drafted Jordan Love a year and a half ago. Although he may not stay in Green Bay long term, I think Aaron is smart enough to know that his price goes up with good play, so I'm sure he's going to be back on track pretty dang soon. But back to the game, in talking about the performance, Aaron simply said, it's just one game. A good mentality to have, 
But funny enough, pretty much the complete opposite of his head coach in LaFleur, saying that the Packers were absolutely embarrassed by the Saints. Even though the statements are seemingly polar opposites, context is important. And on one hand, you got a 37 year old future Hall of Famer talking about one game versus a relatively new head coach trying to send a message to his team. As a pretty chill, take it as it is type of player most of the time, it doesn't surprise me that Aaron would say something like this, and honestly makes a lot of sense considering his experience. Aaron even echoed a similar sentiment a few days later, saying that the team is in trouble if they freak out after only one week. I would have to agree with Mr. State Farm on this one, and I don't think it's the team that's worried. Instead, it's all the media and fans that are blowing this out of proportion. Thankfully enough, it seems like Aaron's not alone with his idea, as Devontae sees this as one of the quickest flushes he's ever seen by the entire team. They're not only moving past the game itself, but trying to make something of it so that they are able to do better moving forward. All in all, things are looking pretty good coming off of as bad a loss as it was, and that's pretty great to hear. Considering the fact that the team has only lost 7 times in Matt's 33 games with the team, let's just say they tend to catch on, and especially after loss by over 25 points, with Aaron usually going off the following week. With that in mind, let's just say that Detroit may be in for a rough Monday night game against a heated Packers team that wants to go absolutely ham. My man Matt is looking to improve top to bottom with the statement, where do I start? Which gives me the impression that he's hyper focused on putting that performance in the garbage can. Realistically, it's not that big of a deal to lose one game against a team like New Orleans, and I think the team knows this, so I believe that they will be back on track against Detroit and destroy the Lions pretty easily. I mean, you gotta understand that they were only a few points from a Super Bowl last year, so I definitely think they can take down Goff and the Lions. Before we talk some more about the discount double check man, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more stuff like this. Anyways, back to the video. After a poor outing in Duval, many think that Aaron is pondering retirement or is potentially washed up, but I'm here to tell you that he is far from done. This is a 3 time MVP we are talking about, so keep that in mind when you think that he could suddenly become a dud. In fact, I think he could very easily pass for over 300 yards and 4 touchdowns against Detroit, so I wouldn't worry too much about the State Farm stud. I mean look at his ESPN photo, does that guy look like someone who would be worried? I don't think so, and so I'm expecting yet another great season out of Aaron in 21. Is another MVP in Aaron's immediate future? Maybe not, but I think he's still one of the best players in football, and so I don't think one game should determine what's next for him. Aaron Rodgers may have started the year off rough in Duval, but he is an absolute stud, so I'm sure he'll be back in business soon enough. And Rodgers is going to roll away, throws it up in the air, says a prayer, and Janice! Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe, like, and comment down below what stuff you want next. But anyways, see you guys soon, and peace out.